Hello students, welcome to the session of Remote Sensing and GIS. We have discussed about the electromagnetic radiation, which is very important. And we all know that the visible range, infrared range, UV rays, X-rays, gamma rays. You can see here, what I want to show you, that this is what is the wavelength and different wavelength has different characteristics, right? So today we are going to discuss about electromagnetic spectrum occurrence and components of remote sensing right which is very important topic and very fundamental topic to be understood let's move further what is occurrence frequency of electromagnetic radiation in the form of an advancing interaction between electric and magnetic field as we all know that it includes all moving in harmonic sensorial wave pattern right and it's expressed in terms of frequency or wavelength we tell it as a frequency or a wavelength you can see here what is the background of presentation that is x-rays gamma rays these are the rays which is into the sensorial wave pattern and which is known as frequency or wavelength you are not going much detail into the physics terminologies but you have to remember this thing that is why i am recalling it look at this you can see here the shorter wavelengths are very near to each other and the longer wavelengths has lower frequencies and lower energies right so shorter the wavelength higher the energy higher the frequency longer the wavelength lower the frequency lower the energy right look at the figure which i have shown the gamma x-rays ultraviolet between ultraviolet and infrared we have our visible range visible range see the color red green and blue which is very important for us in the electromagnetic spectrum when we are taking the images then we have the microwaves microwaves again at the long wavelength longer wavelength moving towards that it will not give much information but yes when the red rays comes towards from the sensor to the object it will penetrate through that and we will get the information of the quality of that object Right? It is used for the, some of the other terminologies only. Every time we are not using microwave because microwave is whole new section of remote sensing which is known as microwave remote sensing and satellites are accordingly made. Right? I would like to give you here an example. If you know that microwave remote sensing satellite, you have heard the name of Reset. What is Reset? Have you, have you seen the movie of Uri? You have seen that is whole based on remote sensing. What was that? They have detected, they have seen, and they have worked on reset satellite, and they have penetrated that uh, that rays, and they have got the information of it, right? What was the process? The balloons, the garud was made. Garud was what? It was taking the image. It was the camera for them, right? So that was all related to the remote sensing. I'm just giving you your example so you can correlate, right? Now look at this. In the electromagnetic radiation, which falls under what? Radiation type is radio, microwave, infrared, visible, ultra, x-rays and gamma rays. This is how you can. I have already explained for it. Now you can see approximate scale of wavelength that is building, human body, right, honeybee, needle point. This is all having the different different wavelengths and you can have a look to it. Right. Now you can see here I have shown the gamma rays. What is gamma rays and what are the remarks? Are? Not available for remote sensing and incoming is absorbed by the atmosphere. So gamma rays are not much useful right now in the electromagnetic radiation in the terms of remote sensing. X-rays, it is same as gamma rays. But yes, X-ray, you know that we do the X-ray of our body, right? To look inside the body what is happening. That is X-rays. UV, wavelength less than 0.3 are absorbed by ozone right and transmitted in terms at photographic UV. UV also we are not much working on it. Visible, yes visible we are working. All the sensors we are making it into the visible range only. So detectable with films photo detectors. Right? Infrared atmospheric window exits. We are going to see what is atmospheric window, why it is important. Right? Microwave can penetrate fro uh, fog, cloud and rain and radio having the longest wavelength so these are not much into the use but we are using into the range of infrared near infrared and visible and microwave we are working right now in for our country okay now the very other important topic is the component of remote sensing 
what is the component of remote sensing and why it is important so basically there are seven components of remote sensing you have to very well remember this thing because this is a very important topic right components of remote sensing that is sunlight atmosphere then you have earth feature then you have satellite antenna receiver that is called computer analyst and last is the application let's see more into the detail in technical portion of it look at this you can see here the very first is what energy source it requires energy source which eliminates electromagnetic energy to the target of interest what was that sun right then radiation and atmosphere you have to remember this in sequence only because this components occur sequence by only you cannot miscommunicate the sequence right so first is energy source radiation and atmosphere the very first portion energy travels from its source to its target and interact with atmosphere right it travels from where source to the target so from sun to the target and after interacting it is going to the atmosphere and goes to the again antenna or the sensor to collect the information then interaction with target the third point is interaction with target energy makes a way from atmosphere to target it interacts with target depending upon the property of target and radiation right from atmosphere which rays goes to the target it will interact it will collect the information and the according depending on the properties of target also then recording of energy what comes recording of energy that is after energy has been scattered by or emitted from target it requires sensor to store the radiation that is what we have seen transmission transmission and processing energy recorded by sensor has to be transmitted into the electrical form into the antenna and receiving and processing center where data is converted right so this is how it happens then interpretation and analysis image is now interpreted visually and digitally there are two methods to do that is visually by eyes and digitally by using the software and application finally the information is revealed and able to solve the problem and helpful in many purpose so these are the components these are the technical way you have to remember the very first is energy source radiation and atmosphere then is interaction with target in recording of energy transmission and processing interpretation and analysis and final is the application right now look at this this is the technical portion i am again making you see this image so you can recall it and you can remember it right itself that first is the source that is sun every time it is not the sun there is a different types of sensors also you have heard about it the passive sensors and the active sensors yes we are going to see in detail so first is the source then it is the sun the energy from the sun is what happening it is interacting with atmosphere then from the atmosphere it is going to the target from the target again to the atmosphere and then when it is stored it is stored in the sensors so sensors are made accordingly when sun send any energy they have the property to accept the sources from the sun energy right then we are going into the transmission that is the receivers where it is sent the antennas are stay their energy is stored into digital form electrical form then in the software we are doing the analysis and from the software we get the information and finally we are getting the application of it that what analysis and for what purpose we are using this so this is the component of remote sensing and i guess which is very important and you are clear with it the sequence i repeat again sequence should not be changed right so electromagnetic radiation what is electromagnetic radiation how it differs how what are the characteristics of electromagnetic radiation what is visible range what is uh, near infrared range what is frequency right what is the definition of electromagnetic radiation similarly this is the components or which are the seven major components or describe remote sensing components this can be asked in any ways so this is very important to understand student because after understanding this concept only you will be getting it
So now you got the point what I want to tell when I am telling it the natural remote sensing, then I said the artificial remote sensing, this is how energy is transferred, right? So source, atmospheric interaction, target, sensors, transmission, receiving power, information, analysis, which is done in what? Software. And then we are getting in the form of map, pictorial representation, whatever we require, we get that, right? So this is all about the component of remote sensing. I hope you are clear with this component of remote sensing. And this is a very important thing. You will be knowing it after electromagnetic radiation because this is the application of electromagnetic radiation and how electromagnetic radiation works. I guess you are almost clear with this component and the major theory related to the remote sensing portion, right? So this is how it happens and now we are going to see the different different sectors that what it interacts with atmosphere energy interacts with atmosphere what happens energy interacts from space to the earth feature what happens we are going to see all that in detail and which is very important to understand right so i would just like to give you here an example and recall that this is why this technology has evolved and giving us tremendous opportunities to work on for all the things related to the environment related to the modeling related to all the flood area disaster management what all even in the pandemic we, we are going to see that is that helpful or not we are going to see that in detail in the further modules also so this is about whole science of remote sensing and gis we will discuss the module gis also in detail so we will make it out but both the terms are different remote sensing is different portion and gis is different portion so this is how it all goes on right so here with this session you are very much clear with the component or principle yes component is also said as principle of remote sensing and occurrence of electromagnetic radiations look at the presentation slide again so you can recall that what is wavelength infrared visible x-rays gamma rays right long waves short waves for what they are helping us thank you for your attention